On the night of September 2nd, 1998, so many of you rushed into the darkness without even the slightest, slightest hesitation. You had either learned from the news, have been alerted, or had heard or had seen it yourself and wanted just to go out and to help. Swiss Air Flight 111 crashed not too far from here, and you were among those who became part of the recovery effort. Cela a pris forme d'un effort collectif qui a mis à l'épreuve la détermination de nombreux civils militaires, membres de la GRC et d'autres premiers répondants et organismes communautaires venus offrir de l'aide. Even after 25 years, we, want, we certainly want the heartbroken families and friends to know that we still remember their loved ones, and we always, always will. And as we gather here this weekend to remember and to honor the 229 passengers and crew who died that night, we pay tribute to all of you, the brave people from the Canadian Armed Forces, the RCMP, the fire, police, and emergency services, and from the communities that were closest to the crash. 229 souls aboard Swiss Air Flight 111 were lost. They came from every corner of the world. They were scientists, diplomats, students, and newlyweds. They were mothers, brothers, children, and friends. In all of the ways that they were perfectly ordinary, they were all perfectly extraordinary. And they were deeply loved. In her poem, Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia writer and poet, Budge Wilson, captures the unique relationship that developed between the grieving families they left behind and a community of people willing to do anything to help.